Yeah, one, two. G'day guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. <clears throat> I have a quick look at my quadcopter build. <laughs> it's another one of those projects that's um, going fairly slowly at the moment, but it'll get there in the end. Um, I started off a couple of years ago um, when I first became interested in quadcopters and I actually made up a frame uh, out of aluminium, uh, completely homemade um, and it didn't look too bad. I started putting some bits and pieces on it and um, I quickly realised that if I crashed the thing I'd be looking at having to make parts for it all over again and uh, I thought it's going to be a bit of a pain in the butt. So after a couple of years of just playing around and uh, occasionally doing some bits and pieces with it, I decided to go out and buy a commercial carbon fibre frame which is, uh, well apart from the fact that it looks better, it's a little bit lighter um, and you can buy all these pieces, uh, they're all, you can buy any part you break on it, you can pretty much just buy it and then replace it rather than have to start building things all over again. Having a bit of a beer here. Um, <clears throat> let's have a look. I haven't done a real lot to it yet, but um, so far what I've uh, managed to do is put a uh, power distribution board, which is under there, I don't know whether you can see it or not. Uh, I've managed to put all the uh, ESCs Electronic speed controllers are, are in there. They're 30 amp, 30 amp um, speed controllers. There's four on there, one for each motor. I've mounted the uh, the motors to the ends of the uh, the arms. I haven't finished tucking these wires in yet. Um, the way I've mounted these, um, I've rethought about it now, and you can actually buy an extension kit, which. Um, is a similar amount to this, but what it does is it places the motors out here instead of where they are, which gives you a little bit larger quadcopter, probably a little bit more stable, and it'll take up the slack on these cables. So I think I will be. The original idea of this particular mount is that you, you just cable tie your ESC to here, um, which is all good, but it just doesn't look doesn't look very nice. It looks quite messy to have ESCs and all wiring going everywhere. So I might. Um, by the, uh, the other mounts which actually put this motor just uh, over here somewhere and uh, <clears throat> then they, they, it'll take up the slack of these cables which I can actually push down the tube if I want to just look a lot better gives you a little bit more uh, a slightly larger quad quadcopter too probably increase the, the length by about 100 millimeters per uh, side um, on the bottom here <laughs> Have a look. Oh, my beer bottle's getting in the way. Okay, on the uh, bottom here, there's a um, a couple of carbon fibre rods which are rubber down. They've got rubber uh, spacers in there to cut down on vibration. This is basically your camera mount. Camera will be camera mount will be connected to those two rods. Camera will sit down here somewhere. Probably. Um, a GoPro camera, or um, I might put a, I might get brave once I've flown it a few times and put a Sony uh, RX100 on there, RX100 Mark III or Mark II. Uh, that would give you very, very good quality video, just that it's, uh, you know, a little bit expensive camera, you don't want to be crashing it, and, and apart from that, it's a quite a heavy camera too, because it's all uh, metal construction. Uh, there's a, uh, a base there to where I'm going to actually uh, mount the battery and I've got another one of those coming from overseas which is going to go on here and the battery is just going to sit on there find the actual balance point so the camera is going to be here and um, that's pretty much it uh, the frames all carbon fiber and uh, it looks very very good quality the actual brand is Tarot and it's a Tarot 650 I believe memory. Here's a flight controller board which I actually um, 
bought this a long time ago. Um, I bought this for the uh, the other quadcopter that I was building. There's the uh, GPS board and a GPS antenna. This board is a um, the multi Wii and uh, what have we got? Uh, yeah, it's a multi Wii controller, multi Wii Pro or something. I can't remember exactly now. It's um, basically controls all the um, the power to the motor. So it also uh, has a barometer on it. Um, it's got a few other bits and pieces there, gyros, etc. And uh, <clears throat> basically it was going to go on here, but I've since ordered a different controller for it. There's a more advanced controller available now uh, on the market, so I'll, um, I decided to put a different controller on it. So yeah, the other good thing, well the other good thing about this particular one is that you can actually um, fold the legs. I'll just close it up without breaking everything. And uh, I mean, these come up, so you can fold it like that for uh, for transport purposes. Certainly takes up less room in your car or wherever you're taking it. All right. And there is a um, there is a kit for this unit that actually uh, raises the legs. So once it's up in here, you can uh, press a button on your remote control and. The legs actually raise up out of the way so that the camera's got a 360 degree view without, uh, you know, seeing any part of the, uh, the actual quadcopter. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's, the, uh, that's my other project that I've been working on for quite a, a little while. This one actually didn't take me very long at all. I think it only took me... Uh, couple of hours to assemble it to where it is there at the moment and um, probably only take me another couple of hours to finish it once I've got the, uh, the other controller which I don't have yet. Thank you.